Hi, my friends. We're going to make a sound shaker. I like to call it the taco shaker because I'm going to take a paper plate, just a plain one, white, like this. I'm going to fold it over. Now, you don't have to have a white paper plate. You could have any color you wanted, but I want to make some patterns and designs on this plate. So white's perfect for me. And then I'm going to put something inside of it. I have rice here that's going to make one sound. And I have little rocks here. And they're going to make another sound. But you could also use uh, dried popcorn or just regular dried corn or wheat. Or you could do... Um, what else is something that you could do that's beans or pasta? Anything that's dry and hard, you're going to shake it and it's going to make a sound. And each thing is going to make a different sound. So I have two plates here and I could make just one shaker and put the plates on top of each other. And it's kind of like a quesadilla shaker. But I want to make one for my friend and one for me. So I'm going to fold it over like a taco and make a taco shaker. All right. But first, before I glue it shut and put the glue it, put the stuff in and then glue it shut, I want to add something to it. So this one I'm going to do for my friend, Lila. And her name starts with an L, Lila. She has two L's in her name. And I know that she likes purple and blue. So I'm going to use those two colors. I think what I'm going to do is probably write her name on here because I know how to write her name. It's not hard for me, but if I didn't know how to make the letters in her name, I could just draw squiggles and designs or lines or color it all in her favorite colors. Whatever you think you want for you, or if you're going to make one for someone else, then think of what colors you think they would like. All right, so here I am writing Lila on here. And let's see, I'm going to make some fancy little loops around her name like that. And then I think I'll take a blue. Which blue? Which blue do I want? I'll do this one. And I'm going to make some circles with the blue like this. Can you see how I'm just doing it on this top part? Because I might get tired of doing it. And I might not want to do both sides. Nah, nah, I'll do both sides. All right, so I have those two. Let me look for a darker purple. And on this bottom part, I think I'm going to make kind of like a smile and do it again with the purple again and kind of color that in. So I'm making a fatter line, a big chubby line right here. Very thick. There we go. Okay. Does that look perfect? <laughs> no, because I'm not worried about it being perfect. I'm just doing my best and having fun. All right, there's that one. And now a different blue. I'll try this one. So I'm going to do another curved line like a smile with that but i'm not going to make it thick now i'll go back to this purple and do another curved line and one last thing wow those two colors look so much alike Hmm, I think I'll pick a blue that looks really different. Oh, here's one that's kind of a purpley blue. Let's see what that looks like. All right. We'll do that one. Oh, I like it. That right on there. And then maybe one more purple. All right. This light 
It's called lavender. The really light purple is called lavender. Okay, here we go. Down and around. <laughs> I like it. And I'm going to put a little line right here and a line right here. It's like a purple and blue rainbow kind of. I'll, put, I'll hold this up. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. That's fun. All right. No? Yeah? You can see it? All right. Now, for Lila, I'm going to do Lila's with the, which do you think? Should I do the rice or the rocks? Oh, rice, rock. They both start with R. Rice, rock. You think I should do the rock? Okay, let's do it. All right, I'm going to put them right here. And then I'll be right back. I'm going to go get a hot glue gun. And I'm going to put hot glue on one half of this. Now, this is a part that you have to have an adult for. Okay, so hold on just one second and I'll be right back. I'm back with my hot glue. I'm going to be very, very careful. And I'm going to put it on just this top half right here like that and then I'm gonna fold it up like this. This is where your helpful adult is gonna help you with this part. If you don't have hot glue, you could do it with a stapler, but you just have to make sure that you get really close on those staples so that your rice or your beans or your corn doesn't fall out. All right. Coming along, coming along. Oh, I think she's going to like this. I hope she does. All right. Okay, I can feel the warmth coming through. So make sure you're not trying to do this yourself. Okay, we'll let it sit for just a second and then I'll work on mine. So for me, I don't know. I do love purple. I love purple and blue together. My favorite color is red. So I think I shall do maybe a red heart. Is this the red I want? Hmm, I don't know. I don't have any paper to test it out. Let me see. Or maybe this red? Hmm, let's see. Well, I'll go for it with this red right here. I'm gonna make a heart. Now to make a heart, I make two curved lines like this. One and two. And then below it, I'm gonna make the letter V. Down and back up. What? That was pretty easy, huh? Do you think you could make a heart? Two curved lines and then a V. Down and back up, slant down, slant back up. All right, now I'm gonna color this all in with this red. And I'm gonna speed this all up right here so it goes by super fast. Then we're done speeding it up. Okay, I like it. There it is, right there. That's going to be mine. And I'm going to fold mine in half. And because I put the rocks in Lila's, I'm going to put the rice in mine. Oh, can you hear that sound? It's already making a sound. All right. And I'm going to take my hot, hot glue and come along. So carefully so I don't get burned. All right, here it goes. Hot 
hot, hot. Be so careful that I don't touch it. I've done it before and it hurts. So I'm not interested in getting sloppy and doing it again. All right, so, so careful. Make sure there's no little holes around here because what would happen? <gasps> See a little hole. And you know what's going to happen? Is the rice. Oh, oh, oh. Did you see that? The rice can come out. All right, let's get a little more glue right here. Okay. All right, now I'm wondering, do you think these are going to make different sounds or the same sound? So let's give it a shake. Here's our first one. This is the rice one. Okay, that's sound number one. Now here comes sound number two. <laughs> Very different sounds, right? Okay, close your eyes and I'm going to shake one of them. And I want you to guess, did I shake the rock shaker or the rice shaker? Okay, close your eyes. All right, here we go. Could you tell which one it was? You're right. It was the rock shaker. And I'm going to give this to Lila and tell her how much I love her. I made her this because I love her. Can you do something that you love? for? So can you do something nice for someone you love today? Give it a try. Yeah. 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 